Have you ever wanted to be able to code in Rust to make your programs blazingly fast, fearlessly concurrent, or just plain awesome? Well, today you're in luck, because in this series, I'm gonna take you from Rust Zero to Rust Hero. And since we're about to embark on an awesome coding journey together, let me know why you are on this ship in the comments below. So what are you gonna learn? Today, you're gonna to learn why Rust is awesome, how to install Rust on your computer, and we'll also create your first Rust program. But before we get started, a little bit about me. My name is Leo and I've been programming Python for about a decade now. And on my first birthday, I graduated with a computer science degree 21 years ago. Okay, maybe it wasn't on my first birthday and I'm still young at heart. <laughs> but uh, I started learning Rust because I ran into speed and safety issues when developing my automated trading algorithm. That's my why. So what's yours? Did you remember to post your why in the comments below? And speaking of old, Programming languages have come a long way in the last 52 years, but two massive problems have remained a giant headache for developers. I like to call them M&Ms, but they're definitely not that sweet. The two problems are multi-threaded code and memory safety. But with Rust, all that changes due to innovative use of ownership moves and borrows. And while you're likely not to understand what this means just yet, you will by the end of the series. But what you can understand is that Rust is awesome because it's super fast and safe, and usually you only get one or the other, but with Rust, you get both. So now let's get this bad boy installed. Installing Rust is super easy. All we need to do is go to rust-lang.org, click get started, and then copy this script right here. What this does is it uses curl to download the Rust up script at sh.rustup.rs and then passes it to shell. You can see when I run it, it downloads the installer. I'm gonna press one for the default. And you'll notice that there's a warning because I already have Rust installed. And to check to see if it installed properly, you can type Rust up, update. This will update Rust. And you can also check the compiler version, Rust C dash dash version. You can see that I'm on Rust 1.76. Now, before we start creating some blazingly fast code, we want to make our IDE or editor blazingly awesome. Yeah, that didn't sound great, but whatever. Um, what you wanna do is go to your extensions and make sure you have Rust Analyzer installed. You'll click install. And if you can see what Rust Analyzer does, it provides code completion, you know, imports, definitions, things like that. So it just makes things so much easier. So once that's installed, we can go ahead and create our first Rust program. And we'll start by creating a new file. We'll call this hello.rs. And then we will create a main function. The main function is a primary entry point for Rust and many other languages. So we'll create an FN for new function. We'll call it main. We're not passing in any parameters. So there, you know, there's nothing between the left and right parentheses. Then we have two curly brackets. We type print exclamation mark because we're actually using a macro here. Hello, comma world. And then we'll end this with a semicolon. Save it. And then we want to go ahead and compile it. So we'll type Rust C, and then we will enter our file name, which is hello.rs. And you'll notice when we do that, it creates another file. That is the binary to run it. So we'll type hello, and that runs it. I can type ls here to see that here's the code, and here's the binary. But in truth, you're rarely, if ever, going to use Rust C to compile your code. You're likely going to use Cargo, which is Rust's official build system and package manager. Long story short, we'll, we'll dig into all the details later, but essentially it helps you manage all of your dependencies. There's some other functionality around build automation, testing, and document generation and publishing packages. But essentially, let's just take a look and see what this thing does for now and how it helps us as a new Rust developer. So we'll type Cargo new, hello world. And this will create a new folder. And in this folder, we're gonna have some additional files now. We're gonna see this cargo.toml file, which you know essentially tells cargo all of our dependencies, the version, all this other stuff. We have a git ignore. And under here, we have this source folder and our main.rs file, which essentially helps us create uh, you know, this binary, which we already created. And it looks extremely similar to what we already had before. Uh, with one small difference, we're using the print macro here and we're using the print line, uh, hello world there, just so we can get that extra carriage return. We could use Rust C to compile this, but instead let's use cargo. So CD hello world, and we'll type cargo run. And what this will do is it'll actually compile it as you can see right here. And then it also runs it and it has a different target where we can see it's target debug hello world. So we can see this new folder target debug 
and then here's our hello world. Essentially, when we are developing, we're not gonna do all of the optimizations we would for production code. It just helps speed up the compile times, although that's not really an issue with just this hello world. With Rust installed and your editor blazing fast, click on this video to take your next steps in your Rust journey.